Hi, I'm Hilary Talbot, acupuncture physician and clinical herbalist. Today we will be discussing emotional trauma and acupressure. Now acupressure can be a really nice complementary therapy when dealing with emotional trauma. I encourage you to seek out a skilled uh, mental health counselor, psychologist um, that can help you with this and then also an acupuncture physician that is skilled in treating emotional trauma. The acupressure or acupuncture would come in handy while addressing the emotions that come up as a result or the physical symptoms. Some of us um, are so um, strong-minded that it's not, it's not pretty to have an emotional breakdown. So what we do is we shunt our symptoms into the physical body and then we end up with digestive ailments or um, shortness of breath or palpitations or things like that. And acupressure can definitely help for that. So I'm going to show you points today that are specific to anger and frustration. Liver 14, located just under the breast line here in a space between two ribs. It's usually like the sixth or seventh intercostal space, um, just below the nipple. And sometimes it'll be quite tender. Um, this point is, of course, bilateral, so you want to stimulate these points together. Um, and this is really helpful if you're having shortness of breath, palpitations, or you just feel like something is stuck in your chest. So like if you're, if you're a woman and you've ever had the feeling of being so frustrated you just want to like rip your bra off because it's containing you, um, these points are great. And then in addition to these points, you want to use lung one. Lung one is located up in this little triangle just under the collarbone here. And if you can't find it, you can kind of lift up your arm on yourself and look in the mirror and it'll create a triangle. Um, so in this hollow, and you kind of want to stimulate both points on each side together. Um, now why this works is energetically the chi travels through the meridians and uh, in the 12 meridians in a certain order. Liver 14 is the last point and it needs to come into the first point lung one and sometimes this gets stuck when there's emotional stuff happening. So this is a pretty common block on a lot of people um, regardless of the level of emotional trauma that they're experiencing. So this is pretty safe and effective for a lot of us to do. Again, I encourage you to seek out someone that's skilled in treating emotional trauma. I'm Hilary Talbot and that was acupressure and emotional trauma.